Thank you. Thank you all very, very much. Thank you. My guess is we would have had a, we have a younger audience than we did earlier. <laughs> And that makes a lot of sense to me because what we need to do in this country is make sure that the next generation of Americans have a bright future and they can live their dreams. And they can enjoy the freedoms and liberties that are guaranteed by our Constitution. It is a great privilege to have this opportunity to address you tonight and first of all to tell you thank you so much. A candidate matters, I suppose, to some degree, but the reality is other people win elections for candidates for the United States Senate, and you all did that for me. And, I got interested in public service because I believe we live in a great state and the people uh, who live across our state, east to west, north to south, enjoy a quality of life that's worth preserving for another generation of Kansans. And over the time that I've been in public service, I realized that our government in Washington, D.C. has lost touch with Americans. They forgot to listen to us. They're out of touch, and it's time for us to restore good common sense, good conservative values to Washington, D.C. so many wonderful friends in Kansas, and we've made so many new ones uh, over the last few months, and I have always considered Kansas as a place like family, and we will do everything to be a part of your family that you will be proud of. We will work hard to be elected in November. We'll do this not for our glory or for a Senate sign on a door, but for a belief that America can be a country different than it is today and one that is Im ha increases the chances that uh, another genera generation of Americans have a beautiful life. So, I also want to, want to acknowledge the humility that this presents itself. This is, a, this is a very humbling experience for what used to be a small town boy from Plainville, Kansas. I just happened to, happened to be a kid who liked politics and what I read in history and government and biographies caused me to have an interest in our country. And uh, no one would ever look at my background and think I'd ever grow up to have the chance to be a United States Senator from the state of Kansas. So I'm humbled by the opportunity I've been given. I will never forget where I come from. I will never forget how I got there. And I will always remain true to the folks here tonight who have expressed their will and the voters across our state who made a decision about the direction our country should go. I also want to tell you that I started part of my, I started the midday uh, in my hometown of Plainville. I also want you to know that I started the day with myself on the altar and myself on the knees, and I just asked for God's blessing and guidance and for his direction, and whatever came about today would be fine with me because God's will in my life is important. <laughs> As I said, nothing is done by yourself, and while you all have been wonderful and great supporters, let me also express my appreciation to my family. Uh, none of this is possible without Robert, Alex, I'm honored by your enthusiasm. Let's take this enthusiasm and take it to November and restore America. And, and, and finally, thank you very much to the hosts, the Johnson County Republican Party. We're honored to be with you this evening in Johnson County. Thank you. Thank you all very, very much. God bless you and America. Thank you. Thank you.